Evening folks, Nick the Force here, uh, back out in the shop tonight. Um, as y'all seen, uh, the Friday or Saturday we hit 100 subscribers. Um, I can't tell you how amazed I am that, uh, that that many folks want to watch uh, me fumble through videos. Uh, I mean, I, I'm no professional at all and never consider myself still don't consider myself professional um i mean i'm just a uh really i'm just just like here yeah, i'm a man in a shed working with the tools i got on saws i enjoy running uh wanting to keep running wanting to prove on that's why i got in it but uh i just want to say thank you to everyone that's made that happen um I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, and uh, I'm excited to see uh, what's next. Uh, will we hit 200? Who knows? If we do, that's awesome. If we don't, that's awesome. I just want to put content out there to help uh, folks like me that uh, want to get into saws, enjoy saws, and want to repair their own saws. That, that's why I got in this. That's why I got in it for. So, uh, I just want to say thank y'all. It, it tickles me to death that that many folks want to watch my videos. It really does. Um, but to quit rambling, uh, tonight we are back on to the McCulloch Pro 55 that we ported up. Um, I've been letting the, uh, my phone charge, just been cleaning up the cylinder, um, just getting shavings out of it, cleaning it out, make sure it's good to go. Um, did want to show you, which I'll pull y'all around in a second. Here, I'll pull y'all down and grab the piston. So, let's see, that's the off side of the piston, that's the intake, intake side of the piston. Did take timing out of the piston. You know, I mean, you have, for the most part, you really can't tell because I put a good chamfer on it. Um, but just show y'all, cause these from the factory are even length. Take a micrometer, put it down. Uh, 1.75, my daggone things about shot my screen. I believe that's in inches. Yeah, 1.75 inches I believe. Try that again. Yeah, 1.74, 1.75. Now we'll go to the intake side. That was the exhaust side that we didn't touch. Intake side is sitting now at about 1.68, 1.69. The smallest end of it, it is 1.67. So there you go. Showing y'all I did take timing out of the piston. So I just took a flat file, pressed the piston off. I mean, Y'all may be able to tell from that. That's where we grind it on, and that's stopped. I mean, just make sure you round your corners. Put a nice bevel on this edge so it doesn't catch. Won't score. Just, and it's that simple. Press it off, press it on, good to go. Like I said, I've just been cleaning up, getting ready to reassemble. Um... So I will bring y'all back uh, when we start getting it together. Got a brand new set of seals up here for it. Um, don't have a set of rings at this moment, but I do have... Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I do. I got a set of rings for this. Um, we'll throw a set of rings in it. Uh, brand new set of rings. New seals. Got new gaskets for it all the way around. And so it'll be essentially be a brand new or rebuilt sorry rebuilt uh ported pro 55 block so i'll bring y'all back when we start getting it together see y'all in a second all right folks we're back got the engine assembled and together pretty pretty easily to be honest with you uh just uh make sure all your sealing surfaces are clean um I use Moto Seal Gasket Maker. That's what it is. 
Yeah, Moto Seal Gasky Maker from Permatex. I usually like it. I also use Yama Bond. Uh, I believe it's Yama Bond. Yeah, Yama Bond 4. Use that as well for sealing up cases. Um, or sealing up cylinders, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same. Um, typically, I go a little on the heavy side. I know you don't really have to, but she's got brand new seals. Both sides. Uh, see, we've got a little bit more here on the case I didn't see. I'm typically fairly messy when I do this. But overall, oh, let's, let's if I drop it. Overall, went pretty well. Seems to, I don't think we'll have any issue with the uh, bridge. It looks like it's good. I think that's going to work very well. So, man, I got to quit doing that. I got to take this. It's because I have this bolt down here in the bottom. Should have just left it out, but I left it in. Now, it'll sit flush. Um, so, I'm going to set up the timing wheel. We're going to check our timing numbers again. Um, just to double check, and then we will uh, continue assembly. So, let me set this up real quick and check them real quick. All right, got a time wheel set up. Let's turn her on. And let's get her numbers again. We'll have to use, I think it was this side. And watch some of this junk. We've got it close to top dead center now. So, let's get it. So we're sitting at 80. 158. So we need to go We'll take it down probably right there. Uh oh. Didn't like that. Alright, so now it's got there zero one twenty two, so we need to come back to sixty. Seventy-six, sixty-two. All right, let's go back. Do it right there. I'm thinking getting one starting to act goofy now. Every once in a while, when it gets cold, it doesn't like to work. So reset. All right. Let's try to center down the bottom dead center and start there. Somewhere right about there. Alright. 120. 118. Dang, I was close. So we gotta go. A degree. One nineteen. One nineteen. There we go. All right. So let's pull it out. Grab a flashlight. We will start. Start on the intake. So we will roll her up. To. Oh shoot, sorry. I gotta go back to the, the top dead center. Should be these are a little tricky. We'll get it as close to 180 as you can. Be right there. Alright. Now see once you open once you close this. Say right about there. 66. 
So I think we were shooting for 65, they ended up at 66, maybe. So in 66 and 68, pretty good time in numbers. Let's see as it opens back up. Let's see if she first cracks. Right. There. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, about 66, 66, 67. So that should put us at one. Let's see, 60, 60 is 120, 134, 135, somewhere in there. Should be, should be pretty stout. I see when our exhaust, oh, don't need to move this. I'm bad about that sometimes. When our exhaust opens, it opens. Oh, gotta get some of this out of my way. Don't want to move it around. That my flashlight's about shot. Let's yeah, about a hundred. Just about a hundred. So, didn't really touch the exhaust at all. Just widened it uh, and took out that little narrow, literally just widened the port and opened the port up and angled the port. And then transfer should be the same as last time. I think they're at 120. So like 20 degrees of blow down, 19, 20, somewhere in there. So I think I'd say we hit our timing numbers where we wanted uh, for this saw. Like I said, I'm not going overly hot, but hotter than it was. I think we we're at what, 59? 58, 59 on the intake when we started. Now we're at 66, so that's an additional 7, 14 degrees in timing. So, or 2012 and 14. We'll call it 13. So, should waken this all up. Um, and should be good, because last time we had a little bit of air leak, so now we have new seals. It's sealed up. We'll have new gaskets for the intake, so we'll just keep plugging along. Um, I'll bring y'all back uh, when we're getting a little bit closer to uh, getting it completely reassembled. Thanks, y'all. Did want to mention real quick, um, the 1010 body, I'm putting this Pro 55 motor in. Uh, typically, these saws have a bolt that goes through the oil tank to hold onto the uh, front half of the tank, but on your older block or older models, um, they do some of them do not have that provision, like the tank I have here, this body I have here. I'll show you. See, there is no provision for a bolt. There's usually going to be a provision for a bolt that go up in here to hold the front half of the tank on. Well, this Pro 55 being a later block, they came with that bolt. So, to, if you don't put anything in there, if you took the side, saw on its side, you will borrow or run out of that bolt hole. What you can do is grab a bolt, grab a little bit of sealer and a nut, put that bolt in there, put a nut on it. On the bottom side, put a little bit of sealer up on the head. Um, preferably, you want something a little bit bigger that'll, uh, that'll meet that bolt or that uh, hole size. This one's a little bit small, but the head's big enough to cover the opening. So, basically, what I do, which I'll show y'all real quick. Oh, come on. That's way too much. Take some of that off. Don't need a whole, whole lot on it. Just take you a little bit of mo seal, put it around the top of that bolt, the head of that bolt. Must have pressed on my, what's it called? Must have, pushed a, must have put a little pressure on it because it's dumping it out now. Let's go ahead and 
seal that back up. Wipe off my top half, top half of it. Make sure you got some all the way around, like so. And send it on down in there. Then you take your nut, flip this up, get her started. Like I said, if you're just doing it for the engine that's coming out of your saw, you won't have this issue. One reason I'm having this issue is I'm throwing a later motor in an earlier uh, body. I mean, that's the reason I'm having this issue. Grab my pliers. You can use a wrench, whatever you got. Just tighten her down. There you go. Get that one more tighten. Come on now. Where do I have that wrench up here on the bench? Fit that size. I bet I don't. I might. Nope. It's not that guy. It's gonna be you. Oop. Yeah, I ain't got it up here on the bench with me. But, uh. Yeah, that's all you do. If you wanna keep from leaking bar oil. Grab that tight. Make sure she's tight. That's all you're wanting. I'll usually just let that gasket sealer dry like it is. That way it'll seal up all around it so it won't leak out. And Moto Seal is um, oil resistant, gas resistant. You just don't want it oily because it won't stick to it. But that should be fine. And uh, all right, let's get back to reassembly. I'll just I'll bring y'all back when we got it about reassembled. Or I may bring you back for the points. I'll just have to see. So, see y'all in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. I put the points on. I actually decided to set them back to the stock, I think, 18 thousandths to start off with. And then we will work one way or the other, see how it reacts. Put the coil on, um, which if y'all want to see how to put set up points you can check out my other video on how to advance it's same thing if you're trying to set it back to stock uh if you're just putting on new set of points or whatever else put my uh points on the flywheel put the coil on just use a piece of uh literally you can use uh most uh business cards are about the thickness that's what i always use i just keep this dirty old business card so let's see if we got sport that's gonna be a big question See what we got. Oh, come on. Probably help if I did this right. See if y'all can see that. Yep. Come on. I used to holding the drill with my left hand. We got a pretty good spark, I'd say. We have a pretty good spark, I would say. So, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten up my flywheel one more time, and then we will get to putting the rest of it back together. Oh. Should be tight enough. So, pull that off. And uh, just want to show y'all that quick tidbit real quick. So now I'm going to keep plugging on along and I'll bring you back when we're fully together. Hey folks, we're back. And it's together. Went together fairly smooth. Got a uh, 20 inch bar on it now. Going to try it, run it for a little while. Really need to, wish, nah. I don't want to pull it back apart and sand it down, or not sand it, but uh, strip it and paint it, but it's going to get worked, so things I'd like to do, but I know how I'd 
I'm um, going to run my saws. This one's going to get ran. Um, I said it went together pretty well. It's got okay compression right now. The uh, I think when I put the rings in, I didn't offset them, but they're not pinned, so they will rotate and they will they'll spread apart and they'll pick up compression again. Um, especially after they reseat. Um, other than that, we're just going to have to run it um, and see what it does. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to run. Um, I said I got about 13, uh, 12 to 14 degrees more timing. I think it was either 58 or 60 on the intake, and now it's at 66. So, either way, picked up. Uh, Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, because if it's 58 plus 8, or 60 plus 6, yeah, it's between 12 and, uh, 12 and 16, I guess, technically. Degrees more intake timing. Didn't change the exhaust timing, just widen the port and angled the port where it'll come out toward a muffler here. And, uh, just opened up the, uh, lower it's just a little bit i didn't show you all that on video but i did do that so next up we will give this a first start and uh we'll see how it runs we'll see if it is a go or if it's a no if it's a no then really all i'd have to do i don't think the exhaust is gonna hurt it any if anything should pull better if anything the intake is gonna be what uh, really determines uh, on these since I didn't mess with the exhaust timing just the width um, I think it's mainly going to be the uh, intake that's going to buy this one way or the other but we will see but hope y'all enjoyed the video no didn't get to see a whole lot in this video uh, just a couple little things um, but regardless hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed building this I'm really curious to see how it runs um, and yeah, if you like the video, uh, if you don't mind, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'd love to hear from y'all in the comments. So let me know what y'all want to see. Uh, what y'all think I did good, what you think I did bad. I, I said, just love to talk to y'all. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks, y'all.